Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Friday, February 17th. So it has been a busy day. I am working today. My job is starting in about 45 minutes and we are on the calendar all five days next week. And you know, I know the person I work for wants us to have work, but I really think we're on the calendar all five days because the following week she's in Mexico. So I'm going to have off the, the whole following week. So it will be a very busy week, but um, yeah, money's good, right? Money is good. So I just pray every day in my journal for a smooth day. Um, we have had the past couple days yesterday went just fine. And I was very grateful that the job ended in the middle of the afternoon. So I am able to prepare for the next day and I was able to diamond paint more. I am so close to having that diamond painting done. Wait till I show you my progress on that. So my gratitude list for today, I have 10 things on it. Let's go. Number one, that yesterday went smooth. Yes, um, we had no audio problems except the witness. Um, when we do Zoom depositions remotely, there are settings that the person I work for can help people. So usually I will let her know and at the first break she will do that and it, it improved the audio greatly. And I was done work by two o'clock yesterday. So I like that very much. Number two, okay, I love the diamond painting pen I got in the mail and the Nix's Notions putty. We will talk about that in a minute. Number three, I have inspired others to start reading the Bible. I had a subscriber message me yesterday and ask me about the Bible I read and how I find passages and things like that. I'll be honest, um, I love the Joyce Meyer Bible because in the back there's an index. So if you're having an issue or a challenge, you can look it up and it will direct you to scriptures and passages to read. Um, but Terry, my friend Terry, she has been a huge source of, I don't know if I want to say inspiration, but she has been a huge source of guidance and counsel as to what to read. Uh, she is very faith-based. She knows the Bible very well. She goes to Bible study um, consistently. So she knows what books. And I was also very fortunate when I bought my Bible um, the books were already tabbed, so it's so easy. Um, I'm reading Proverbs right now. I think the next one I'm going to read is Ecclesiastes. Is that how you say that? Because it follows it. And I just love the Joyce Meyer Bible so much because she puts her own um, interpretation on it that interprets the Bible into everyday language because some of it is hard to understand just by layman's, you know, by us. All right, number four, Bill. I now can share my love of reading with him. So I may have created a little bit of a monster here. Um, I started to tell him when I was reading the Mary Kubica book, I would tell him little snippets at bedtime, kind of like a bedtime story. <laughs> I would tell him about the book, what I had read that day. So uh, he is like, today, he's like, have you started a new book? <laughs> like see what you created I said no it's nice because I'm able to share my love of reading with him that way he doesn't read so I had started reading a book and I didn't like it so that's done the life is way too short to be reading books you don't like and the book was just weird so I started reading a new one by Natalie Borelli called I don't even know what it's called it's on Kindle Unlimited it's about a woman who's a teacher at a college and one of her PhD students dies, but there's much more to it than that. So I've started to read that. I'm about 25 pages in. I've read this morning quite a bit. All right, number five, it's Friday. Let's go for the weekend, right? Um, not too many plans for the weekend. I don't really have any plans except, you know, we'll do our normal grocery store on Sunday. Uh, my stepdaughter will come over for lunch. That's what normally happens on a Sunday. At least that's the plan, right? I try not to plan too far in advance anymore or have loose plans only because, and this is bugging me, the glue stick was like, only because things can happen, right? So you have to be flexible. You have to be loose. Get your mind out of the gutter. Not loose in that way. <laughs> that is not God's will. <laughs> Um, flexible, fluid, flowy, you know what I mean? 
Okay, number six, I am almost done the diamond painting. So happy to have it done and move on to the next one. And I'm really hoping I can get it done like, I prayed that today is not too terribly long where I can have some diamond painting time in the afternoon before dinner, because I might be able to finish it. And if I can finish it today, then tomorrow when Bill's playing poker, I do plan on doing some stitching, but I can maybe put the washi tape, like get it fully finished. Maybe I should record that because the steps that I take, I don't know. I don't, I probably don't need to record that. I, I've done videos on that. I roll it over with the roller to make sure all the diamonds are stuck down. And then just now it's going to be a little bit different because I'm using the magnetic frame, but putting the washi tape on the edges, cutting it, all of that. And man, I got to make sure I really line that up and cut that correctly. Yeah. That's my biggest, like, you know, all right. Number seven, that there are so many books on Kindle unlimited. The $10.59 that I pay a month for Kindle unlimited is well worth it. Because if I read one book a month from there, it's paid for itself because a book on Amazon, 10, 11, $12. So there are tons of Kindle Unlimited books on there. Tons and tons and tons. Love it. Number eight, I'm grateful I work from home because today is a rainy, gloomy day, at least right now. And it's nice that I don't have to get up and put on work clothes and commute and do all that. Number nine, I'm going to have a week off soon. Like I just said, I'm going to have the week, not next week, but the week after. Um, now I, in that week, I have a physical, so at least I won't have to worry about taking off time from work to do that. And then my dad is coming over one of those days to do his taxes. So yeah. And then number 10, that I was able to find coverage for all of our jobs next week. And it wasn't like a huge pain to do it. So very, very grateful um, for that. Okay. Let's talk things that I got in the mail yesterday. So I had ordered a diamond painting pen. Now, I love these pens that are the acrylic ones, you know, the resin, all of that, the wood ones. And I understand that they are handmade. It takes time, the materials, but I am not in the headspace anymore to really spend 40, 50, $60 for a diamond painting pen. When essentially that's the cost of a kit. Um, the three wood pens that I have from Weedbrook, I want to say they were $50 a piece, $60 a piece. I know. <laughs> um, I will treasure those. those. I've had those since I've started diamond painting. But I was on the lookout for like two more pens to add to fill my, see my little right here? I have two racks of diamond painting pens. So I bought this pen from Diamond Art Supply and I will link their store, their Artsy store down below. And I got it in the mail yesterday. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's like purple glitter and it's very smooth. And I diamond painted with it yesterday and I absolutely love it. I love it's, it's fairly lightweight. It's not too, too heavy. It is somewhat heavy, but not too, too heavy. It's not heavy like some of the really big ones are. Do you know what I mean? And I also like that it's not too terribly long. I feel like when a pen is long, I just felt like I could really, I was going diamond painting really fast yesterday with this. So I had had another one of these in my Etsy cart if I liked this one. See, I was smart this time. Instead of ordering like five of something and then hating it, I said, well, let me order one, see if I like it. And so I ordered a lime green glitter one. So, and the best part, this is only $13. I don't mind spending $13 for a diamond painting pen. So I will link this um, down below, her store. All right, and then Nix's Notions Putty. So before I show you, I am someone who has tried glue dots. Don't like them. I know, I know so many people like it, but I have tried glue dots. I have tried every wax out there, every putty, every, everything. And I always go back to the pink wax. Someone on the Diamond Art Club VIP group mentioned 
Nix's Notions putty and they said there's no residue and I was intrigued. I was intrigued because every putty that I have used or wax or anything always leaves some kind of residue. And I said, you know what? I, I'll go on there and I'll try it. One of her putties are $8.95. So by the time you pay tax and shipping, I, I want to say it works out to, it might be $14, maybe something like that. Anyway, I ordered the scented, it's scented, of course it is, Yubba Bubba Gum. So it smells like bubble gum. I got it in the mail yesterday and I diamond painted with it and I was blown away. Blown away because no residue. That person was right. There was no residue. I loved it in my pen and I didn't have to replace it as much as the pink wax. So win, 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 win. Here is what the container looks like. It's glass, which I like. On the bottom, it has the Nix's Notions and it has the name of the scent. Now, what's cool too is she'll put, she always puts like something on the top of this. So she put a bubblegum machine because it's bubblegum. Here's what it looks like. And let me tell you, it smells like hubba bubba. It smells so good. And what's nice is when I put it in the pen and I was diamond painting, every once in a while I would get a whiff of bubblegum. Fantastic. Like, how can you go wrong? So of course, you know, you know, I'm trying not to spend like a ton of money, right? But you know, I went on and I ordered like four more. I ordered different scents and I can't wait to get them because, and it will take a while to get through this. Well, you know, I initially started by dipping my pen in there, but no, you can't do that with putty. So I kind of just like scooped it and put it in the pen. It works fantastic. I used it in this pen. Yeah, fantastic. So I will, and my order, so I went on there after I got this in diamond painted, I went on and ordered it and my order was shipped within like an hour. I thought that was amazing. So I will link her store down below as well. But what was cool was she sent like this little free gift. It had candy and um, some coupons and stuff in it, but she also sent a tray. Now, when I have been diamond painting and I have to do use one of these, what I've been doing is putting the diamonds in the lid. I said, you know what, I'm gonna use the tray. This tray is fantastic. I don't know what sorcery, <laughs> I don't know. It's 3D printed, I can tell that, but you know, sometimes when you get 3D printed items, they're rough. This is very, very smooth. The diamonds all lined up good. It poured out well. It stuck to my little pad well, love. And I was hoping that this would fit in the foam thing because I was tempted to like buy a bunch of trays and replace them. It doesn't fit, it's too big. That's okay. I love this. So thank you so much to Nix's Notions for including this as a free gift because yes. All right, so I did have some questions. How do I decide uh, whether to stitch on perforated paper or fabric? Very good question. Most of the time it's due to the size. If the pattern is really big, and I don't want to stitch it on fabric. I'm, you know, especially if I already have in mind a finishing form that I'm going to use, I will then stitch it on the perforated paper because going from 14 count to 18 count will definitely shrink it. Also, just because sometimes I love to stitch on the paper and I like stitching with one strand, I stitch, stitch with one strand on the perforated paper. But that's the main reason is the size of the piece for sure. Someone else asked, do I ever add special diamonds or just the ABs that come with kits? Here recently getting back into diamond painting, I haven't done any kind of conversion. I have only used the AB diamonds that come with kits. In the past though, and I have once finished, there was one um, small kit that I got from some company on Amazon and I substituted AB diamonds for a lot of it. Um, there is someone on the Diamond Art Club Facebook group that changes things all the time and it's fantastic. One of the joys though for me of diamond painting is not having to think like that. It's just being able to sit down and diamond paint and trust the designer, you know, or the company Diamond Art Club with what they've done. 
Um, it's just like converting stuff in cross stitch. My brain starts to hurt if I start to do, try to do too many things. Um, the Gems Flow app. So a bunch of you use it. And someone said, uh, you can put the date that you purchased the kit, which is a really great idea because they said they put the date that they purchased stuff so then they can try to work on older kits. Okay, I didn't put any of the dates in because I, I could have went to Diamond Art Club and looked at my orders and did that, but I didn't. And then finally, but I will show you my diamond painting, what I've done. Uh, my DMC Vintage Cabinet, that's right here. I have had so many people ask me, can you please show that? Um, I did a video unboxing. I've had that cabinet for a year. So I'm gonna take you over there to show you very quickly. So it holds all of the DMC thread. It came with all of the thread. In the very top, it opens up. I have my buttons in here, my petite treasure braid. This is extra black and white. And then this is where, these are my Pip and Chip bobbins. Why is it not focusing? It's focusing now. Pip and Chip bobbins. And I actually, from the company that makes the Pip and Chip bobbins, I bought these foam inserts. The only thing with this is that if I want to get to this, I have to lift this up with my finger. Otherwise, the bobbins get caught. See how they kind of get caught? But yeah, I have the whole thing. It's amazing. It was $500. The Pip and Chip bobbins, I want to say, were $250. And then Brandon, one of my subscribers and a wonderful person, he wound all of them on bobbins for me, and I paid him to do that. So this was a worthwhile investment that I will have forever. Love it so very much. Okay. Oh, this is where I'm going to hang April. I'm going to hang her right there. So when I'm doing a video, you guys can see it right above my printer and all of that. But yeah, so I am so close. I only have, I'm now here. I only have this little section here and this tiny little bit. If I can have some diamond painting time today, I know I'll be able to finish that. Dude, let's go. I'm almost done. Yay. And I know that looks weird with that on her face. That's just to hold the, and actually the sides will hold it. So, but yeah, don't you just love it? Let's go. All right, guys, I hope you have a great weekend and a good Friday. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.